Howdy folks, I'm Grotto Goblin of the Goblins Grotto, and welcome to a Kickstarter news update for Dungeons & Lasers 5 World of Deus Lair. Uh, technically today, we're not on Kickstarter, we're on GameFound.com, because that is what the Pledge Manager is running through, as has been the case with previous Dungeons & Lasers campaigns. So yes, you can put in your pledge finalize it now or add things in chip away at it uh, we're going to take a look at some of the stuff they've got set up here i mean even just on this little splash image we can see there are some new sculpts that we haven't seen really that were just in concept art stages and now here they are uh, really great to see that but without further ado let's just uh you know run down what we have take a look I, i'm gonna share some of my thoughts as far as what i think you should pledge obviously what you want for your game for your hobby collection is something that's up for you to determine i'm more to provide what advice i have for someone who has backed a lot of campaigns like this and uh you know it's kind of uh, the pricings and like, deals and you know, this stuff is not, it's not a store. It might look like a store, but it's not a store. This is still backing uh, an investment in the hopes of them fulfilling this. I have no doubt that they will, given their track record. Uh, by the way, if you hear any leaf blowers in the background, I can't do anything about that. I've waited and waited and waited. And it, it, I think leaf blowers should be banned from society <laughs> uh but that's just me uh but yeah they're they're out there they're further away now so maybe you can't hear them anyway uh here in this campaign there is um, a long tracker with dungeons Lays of delivering sometimes early so i am not worried about them fulfilling on their delivery at this point it's more of like quality or uh which again great quality and what's the best deal so we're going to go back through this um we have taken a look in depth at all of these sets before but as you can see the price breakdown here all of these add-ons are going to be uh 59 euros um you can find a calculator and see what that breaks down to in usd or whatever other currency you're using these are all uh new things these uh, of sea and thunder the, the, the everything in the core set the player races pack uh which for the record uh there's some new scopes shown off here and uh down at the bottom of this little list is going to be a link to the gallery if you go to this page go to the gallery there's a ton of just new uh concept art and uh, sculpts shown off here that just didn't make it into the campaign page and because of how kickstarter works once a campaign is completed you can't really update the main page you can put out updates but that's about all you can do i will level one critique towards archon studios at this point i don't know if it's just a time zone thing or because they handle everything in-house uh, but they're bad at updates in the last campaigns that i've been in and in this one they don't really update people a lot um, I know that they have various social medias in which they keep up with folks. This is sick as hell, by the way, these these uh, turtle folks. I really do hope this goes beyond just concept art, and we actually do get these uh, accoutrements, uh, and not just, like, weapon swaps, that we actually get, like, the armor and stuff, uh, because that, man, that's so cool. Um, you can just make so many different types of minis just from that alone um moving on though they don't exactly post a lot of updates which can be kind of a problem um especially when you know there might be a like hey what's going on with this type of concern uh but you know it, it is what it is um uh point being your updates are probably gonna be quiet um so i would just check on the page every so often go ahead and look at the updates i'll tell you right now there's zero um, despite this having been up for a while but that's just the way it is moving on though here we can see you know 
we unlocked basically everything that was shown off. Uh, there was no shortcoming for this campaign. Again, I think I've reiterated this. I don't quite know how they're going to do this part, and it's not just going to be like super breakable. Great example of the fact that concept art does not 100% translate to what the final product will look like. Got all sorts of things to uh, pick up. They have everything done in-house, so the turnaround is going to be pretty, pretty high for this. Again, they've been early in previous campaigns. I expect that to be about the same. Uh, if you've never backed a Dungeons & Lasers campaign project before or anything else from Archon Studios, you might not be familiar with the rapid delivery system. Uh, this is just kind of a general breakdown of uh, prospective shipping cost. Now, something to note, these numbers are starting to change, and uh, much like how in the Bones uh, campaign is still going right now, you're not going to be paying all of this right now, so expect another charge. I don't know if it'll be automatic or if they'll reach back out to you. If they do have to reach back out to you, then please keep an eye on your email because that would be really unfortunate if they didn't ship something to you because you didn't see an email. But yes, rapid shipping. So with these Dungeons and Lasers campaigns, and we've mentioned this a little bit before, uh, if you see this little logo on something, that means it is a rapid delivery option. It will be shipped to you in a separate order. You'll pay all the same shipping, except it'll be a little more expensive for rapid. But it'll come to your door before the main bulk of the campaign, because they still have to make it. The rapid shipping stuff is stuff that's either really close to being produced, or that you know they already have the molds and sculpts and the inventory for it, and they can just load it on a pallet or in a box, I don't know how much you're ordering, and ship it right to your door. So keep an eye out for this. Uh, there are some caveats to that, which we will get to. Now here is the timetable. Uh, we've seen these kind of projections before, but this is a little, now that we're further into the process, the campaign's over, uh, so we can kind of ignore that. But this is the important part. Uh, the 31st of October, 2023, that's a good amount of time to add pledge items. You can make as many pledges as you want, technically. And uh, just for those curious, you can late pledge for this, uh, so to speak. If you weren't part of the Kickstarter, it basically just means you won't have the credits in the campaign fund, so you'll just have to pay everything up front. Um, pricing may be a little different for you. So 31st of October, what a spooky time uh, <laughs> to to choose to end this. But uh, yeah, plus when the pledge manager will close for rapid shipping, that's going to start getting sent out. And I say start getting sent out. This is like start dates. This is pretty final, but this is a start date. They will start sending things out the 15th of July, 2023. That's insane. Uh, well, you know, the thing is, it's all made in-house, and a lot of this stuff is ready to go, so there's no real reason to have a delay uh, on it. But uh, just keep in mind, if you see anything that was, like, new, it's not rapid. You're not going to get it <laughs> on the 15th of July. It's going to be a while. Uh, you're not even going to get it the 15th of July anyway, because that's just when they start shipping. But uh, for everything else, April 2024 at the latest, they say. Uh, again, in the previous campaigns, they've shipped early, so I I wouldn't expect, I wouldn't plan for them to start shipping early, but I would at least be aware that, hey, it might come earlier than April. So if you have any concerns about your address, where you need to get this shipped to, I would plan well in advance of that. If you know you're going to move, uh, maybe don't, especially around this time, maybe send it to an address that you know the person that lives there will be responsible. You know, it's safe for any package to be delivered there. Package thieves, that would be a very unfortunate thing to happen. So just keep this in mind. And uh, now we're going to look at the sort of the pledges. And I just want to point out again with the rapid shipping. So you can see these are rapid delivery pledges. If you want rapid delivery, uh, it will be more expensive because you are paying ex essentially expedited shipping, or rather like two different uh, 
uh, packages to be shipped because all your rapid stuff needs to go in a different package. But something I want to point out here, just because this has the rapid shipping logo does not mean that uh, the core set, uh, any of the new add-ons, stretch goals, or these books are going to be sent to you early. This is just for if you pick an add-on that is rapid, like some of these legacy add-ons. If that has a logo, then you'll get it sent early. If you pick nothing, if nothing you pick has rapid delivery, do n don't, 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 <laughs> don't pay for rapid the delivery pledges. Uh, get a regular pledge because you're just paying extra for no reason. Um, I like Argon Studios as much as the next person and their products, but uh, I, I also like having my money <laughs> and I don't want to just give it away for no reason. So by all means, please don't spend on this unnecessarily. But if you want anything sent to you soon, before next year, then you have to pick Rapid and uh, just make sure, pick Rapid up here and then make sure that uh, you're planning accordingly with the add-ons. So here's the pledges. It's exactly as we saw on the Kickstarter, the same breakdown here. Um, but now we have uh, all the add-ons to look at, the things you can add in. Uh, for early bird and returning backers, you know, these kind of uh, options would just be given to you. But whether you're one of those folks, someone who missed the campaign, or someone who just missed out, uh, who has never been in a Dungeons & Dragons campaign before, you can pick up as many of these as you like. Uh, it doesn't, as far as I'm aware, there's no uh, limit here. Yeah, no, you just can add on as many as you like. There's probably some kind of uh, stopgap over there, over there where they're like, hang on, why is this person ordering 100 Lord Boulders? What the hell is going on? But uh, hey, I don't know. Maybe they they have the perspective of, if you're going to pay us for something, we're going to deliver. This base is packed. By the way, I haven't really gotten around to reviewing Dungeons & Lasers uh, 3 and 4 yet, but... Uh, this base set has uh, some bases from those campaigns, including Dungeons & Lasers 5. I really like the bases from Dungeons & Lasers. Uh, they have details on them, and they work really well with the minis, for the most part. Sometimes feet and other things just sit awkwardly on the, the textures, but I think these are some of the best like little ready-to-go, pre-made detail bases out there. Um, and I've been painting a lot of the Townsfolk miniatures from Dungeons & Lasers' uh, previous campaigns. So I've been looking at them and painting them a lot, and uh, I'm very happy. Uh, again, I'm so sorry, but the, the leaf blowers out there, I hate them. I really do. Uh, that's going to be the big bad of my ne uh, next campaign arc, is going to be a uh, leaf blower guy. He just runs around with leaf blowers and just gives everybody uh, psychic damage from just the irritating sound of them. Uh, moving on though, uh, so you can see all of these new things and all of that stuff up there. Weirdly the basis pack, I think that's because it has new bases in it. The previous basis packs, they, be, they all had old bases so it would be kind of weird for them to not be rapid for this one because they added new bases in it's no longer rapid so that's a little unfortunate uh, along, so yeah along with everything else that's new you can't get that rapid so if you're only getting new stuff don't don't pay for rapid that's silly uh, but for rapid items here is basically everything else except for these like stretch goals in this pirate ship which for whatever reason is separate I don't know. I just wanted that separate for some reason. Uh, but yeah, you can get the Tarask shipped early. This Trees pack, which is what I'm going to be getting. I'm not going to be paying for Rapid, though, because I already have this pack. and I can wait. Um, but yeah, all sorts of stuff here. And I think it'd be kind of, uh, a cool little uh, thing to go through. Uh, you know, a lot of this, like uh, this entrances pack, these mats, these... Uh, Modular Rivers, all of these down here, these are from 
Dungeons and Lasers 4, the Encounters expansion. So these have been available, and some of these things you can get in the store uh, at Argon Studios, uh, like this Fantasy Starter Set, which, by the way, looks like a great deal. But yeah, with some of this stuff, all of these things, you can uh, get them through the store and in other means uh, to the Land of Giants. And then, you know, there's some stuff from even older campaigns. All of this can be shipped as soon as July 15th. Now, if you pay for a rapid pledge and it's July, even if it's just like July 31st, you still paid for a rapid pledge. So they'll, they'll ship the stuff as soon as possible. It just means that it'll still come in two different packages. You won't have to wait a year, but... The longer you take to put the pledge in, the longer it takes for them to process it and ship it. Now, if you need to make adjustments or changes, though, keep that in mind with your rapid delivery. Because, again, that's going to be shipped sooner, that part. So, whatever address it needs to go to, get that squared away now. Alright, so I, I want to take a look at some of this stuff down here. Um, especially these things. Uh, these are items essentially composed of things from previous campaigns that they are now adding into these like little packs. Taking what would have been like stretch goals and all these disparate things and now adding them into like one collection. I think that's great. Is it worth picking up through here? Hmm, we'll get to that. Uh, the city bundle is great. All sorts of like city themed decor. Um, this is all more your terrain stuff, you know. This campaign uh, of days that are very mini focused this is all more terrain uh, if i was going to start picking up any kind of basics as far as dungeons and lasers terrain if you've only really backed this one you only really have minis this fantasy starter set is fantastic uh, it is a basically the uh, fantasy starter set as we knew it in previous campaigns which just the walls and the floor pieces um but now they've added the customization bits, so all these little terrain bits you can pick up. Now the thing is, you can also just get it from the store. 56 euros, and then let me see, mm, 56 euros. So is there really a reason to get it through the campaign? Not really. Not really. I don't know that there's a grand incentive the thing is again this will ship out relatively soon but you could also buy it here and they'll have it shipped to you regardless it's the same case for one of the other add-ons in this pledge manager the grand stronghold which is fantastic uh this is so much you can do so much with just this uh you can paint it however you want uh, i i quite like this like this red and, and blue scheme that they have going here. You're not going to get um, like little bits with this one, but if you pick up the fantasy set or one of the other uh, decor items, you'll be able to pick up more. But uh, here you can see a breakdown of the stronghold. It's huge. And, uh, you know, this is an example layout. If you're not familiar with Dungeons and Lasers, these are all modular pieces. So um, you can rearrange these walls however you like. Um, this is just how this person has done their uh, example stronghold in this program. But uh, this is huge, uh, ridiculous even. Um, and the price is, you know, set accordingly. <clears throat> it is on their store right now, 159 euros. And wouldn't you know it, over on this pledge manager, it's 159 euros. Now, you might notice on their store, it has free shipping to the EU, plus the UK, plus USA. I will say, I put this in my cart. I live in one of these places. You can listen to my voice and guess which. Uh, and it didn't show free shipping for me. So, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, maybe that's not 100% accurate, or I had to meet some kind of condition in the process to uh, confirm that I was getting free shipping. Mm. 
I, it might be the case also that if you're getting more than just this, then the shipping's not free. But anyway, I will say the shipping, it looked like for me, just for me, it was around $26 before tax. So that might be the one good argument for rapid shipping in this case, because for rapid shipping, it's just like an extra 20 bucks. If we go and look at the FAQ, for uh, rapid shipping, I'm just gonna rapid shipping at your order, about 20 euros. Uh, that works out you know, around there. Um, but you might save like a couple dollars. And then, you know, you're gonna pay some shipping costs later down the line. But uh, you don't need to pick up the rapid items through this pledge manager. However, it is great for consolidating your order and not having to deal with multiple packages. So if that is something you're interested in, by all means, get a rapid order and then rack up as many of these rapid items as you like. For my recommendations, I would suggest the Fantasy Starter Set and the Grand Stronghold for... Uh, this is just like a basic starter set uh, with lots of little terrain bits. The Grand Stronghold is pretty much all you'll need for most situations, um, at least in terms of like structures with like windows. And then for all these other things, I think I'll get to them in, in some other videos at some point. Really can't stress enough that, that I am pretty pleased and pretty happy with this campaign. I think these prices, they're not cheap. I'll say that. They're, it's not cheap. But... I think they are reasonable, given the quality of the work here. I've said this before, not everything in this campaign is the most usable in all situations, but for those that are, and for just like the joy of painting, if you like to paint these, you don't have to paint these, of course, they are perfect for that. So I highly recommend you come and check this out and start working on your pledges. You have until the 31st of October to get them in. Uh, just sort of check out what's available. If you missed previous campaigns, now might be the perfect time for you to plan accordingly and start picking some things up. There, Not everything in here that is rapid is on the store at this moment uh, that I'm recording. Uh, maybe in like an hour they'll add this stuff to the store and I'll look like a fool, but that's not that's not either here nor there. But uh, definitely check out the Pledge Manager and see what uh, the world of Dazzler has to offer you. I mean, that, that's, uh, that's the end of my part in all this. I will probably update more on this campaign should a need arise. But at this point, it's all in your hands. So that's it for me. I've been Grotto Goblin. You've been you. And thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. And uh, yeah, if you got them, let's go paint some in.